Get out of one Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. I really want to uh, start running through some of these battle boards. Some of the armies for Saga I've played before. Most of them I haven't. And I thought, look, uh, a good way for me to learn the battle boards and learn the different sorts of armies is to sit down and, and have a chat about them, read through their special abilities, give my first impressions of how I think those horses play, and then some experience on the tabletop will tell me differently, uh, if, if I might be wrong. Also, feedback from people who perhaps play those armies or have played against those armies will obviously have some valuable feedback for me as well. So over the, the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be going through the battle boards, uh, playing a lot more battle reports with these uh, forces that I review, obviously. So hope you enjoy the series. Might take a couple of weeks to get through everything, but I'm certainly enjoying Saga at the moment. It's a good, fun game, and I'm looking forward to playing a lot more battles. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk about the Vikings in this video. I've played these twice now. I haven't done any research around the internet to sort of get an idea of how other people played them or how sort of uh, they're intended to be played. Uh, all I have is my experience and uh, understanding of how the battle boards work, how the abilities in the game or the mechanics work to give me an impression of what the Vikings do and how their forces run. Now admittedly, all I have at the moment is the four point force from the Gripping Beast Metal starter sets. That includes the unit of Berserkers, two units of Warriors and a unit of Hearthguard, plus the Warlord. So that's all I've got to play with at the moment. So this, uh, this look at the Vikings battle board, that's where we're coming from. A little bit of experience with some games and just four point armies. The five activation abilities on the left hand side of uh, the Vikings board Fairly stereotypical activation dice for the for your uh, half guard for warriors and levies, um, the herdmen being your your uh, mm, uh, half guard, bondi being the warriors and the thralls being your levies. Activation pull discarded dice to roll two saga dice. Uh, that uh, that's rolled up on the S rune, which I believe is the six. Uh, the attack pull, like everybody else, generally has an attack pull. Discarded dice to gain a dice either for attack or defense. And if you discard the S rune, then you get two dice, either for attack or defense, or however you want to allocate them out. Fairly standard sort of stuff. Some of the abilities here for uh, the Vikings really stand out. And I've used a couple of them in the games that I've played. Two of the big ones, uh, Loki, it's the, the S rune and the B, so the equivalent of a, a 4, 5, and 6, and a 6. Um, discard these dice to immediately remove from the game any enemy unit of warriors or levies with three models or less. That's a pretty amazing ability. Somebody, uh, and I mentioned in a, in a previous video, seeming to saying that sounds really powerful. And it certainly is powerful. It does rely on getting two of the dice that you need. And again, that six, that, that B rune, that's used all over the battle board. Uh, Thor, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Ulra, it's used there. Um, it's, it's not easy to get some of these abilities off. You need to have the timing right, you need to have the positioning right, you need to have the dice right. So the ability just by itself does sound a little bit uh, OP, but uh, when you put it into context of, of how often that's likely to happen, admittedly it happened twice in, the, in one of my previous games, um, it's, it's, it's not too, uh, too bad, at least in my opinion. But it's a fantastic ability, uh, just being able to wipe out a unit. And this is one thing that stands out for me about the Vikings, is that they're a punishing force. And I think that, that they need to be played uh, with a relentless head on charge, just driving into the enemy. And that's what you could imagine the Vikings doing and, and, and how they would raid a village. They don't sort of uh, spend time positioning and waiting and all that sort of stuff. They drive straight in there. I've played them two different ways, uh, just drive straight on head, uh, sort of headlong and then spend a bit of time positioning and all that sort of stuff. And both sort of, sort of worked, um, but that's one ability that stands out for me here. The second one that I mentioned, Ulra, this uses the, the F rune and the B rune, the 4, 5, uh, 6 and the 6, uh, the 4, 5 and a 6 equivalents. Discard this dice, this is a melee ability. You may re-roll any of your attack dice that fail to hit. Now this is good for Berserkers. Uh, you, you may have seen the Berserkers who are essentially a sort of uh, pimped up hearth guard. Uh, one point buys you four Berserkers, or, or I should more accurately say one point buys you a unit of Hearthguard. A unit of Hearthguard that is exactly four men strong can be uh, upgraded to Berserkers. 
Half guard normally have an armor of five. Berserkers, because they're so intense, their armor drops down to three. They're not wearing a lot. The models, if you have a look at them, they're not wearing a lot. They've generally got bear skins on or, she or, or, or wolf skins on. But their attack dice increases. Half guard normally have two. These berserkers carry great big double handed axes, and uh, their attacks increase to four. So a unit of four uh, berserkers moving into combat, getting 16 dice. And uh, if you look at this ability here for uh, Ulra, I hope that's how you pronounce it, U-W-L-R, Ulra, this melee, re-roll your uh, attack dice that, that failed to hit, that's intense. Uh, you can imagine uh, the Berserkers getting in there, getting that ability off and, and really causing some carnage. That's, uh, those are the two big abilities that stand out for me. Um, Ragnarok, I've never used it. I did see some people talking about it on the, on the uh, Saga Facebook group. Uh, the other day, I can't remember exactly what they were talking about, but uh, it's a, it's used during the orders phase. It requires double sixes, or the equivalent of double sixes. Discard these dice. All enemy armor values are reduced by one until the end of the turn. Now, in and of itself, it doesn't really sound too much. You need to have a, a sort of a, a, a battlefield that's prepped for a massive assault. If, you, if you're going to reduce the, the armor of every unit on the, on the enemy side by one, you want to make sure that you're going to be getting off two or three uh, sort of combats, melees happening. Um, or, I was going to say all raining down some shooting, but again, the, the, the Vikings here, not really a shooting army. They're, they're melee, and you, you imagine the Vikings, and you think about Vikings, they, they don't sit there with bows. In fact, I think it's probably pretty dishonorable in their mind to actually fight with bows. If we think about their uh, their sense of uh, uh, honor and their code of fighting and, and Valhalla and and how you die in combat and how you fight in combat, being a measure of of whether you'll be received uh, by Odin in Valhalla or taken by Odin to Valhalla, um, I don't think they'd be fighting with bows. So I think it's a good ability. I've never used it. It would be hard to get off. Like I said, requires double sixes, but I can see how it would be really useful. Perhaps combined. Mm, Maybe not necessarily with too much else from the battle board, but uh, but a really well prepped field where you can get, you're going to get off a couple of melee. Uh, that Ragnarok ability would work really well. Let's have a look at a couple of the others here. Frig is a common one that I've used in the games that I've played. Discard this dice to immediately remove one fatigue from any one of your units engaged in this melee and gain one attack dice. That's pro you're probably going to have to use that, or I'd use it, certainly, any time a melee was happening. Keeping in mind that the special abilities on the battle board, the, 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 the yellow boxes on the right, can only be used once per, uh, per round. So you're not going to be able to do this with, uh, with all of your units in combat. But being able to remove that point of fatigue, um, fatigue being a big part of the game, uh, and, and uh, you don't want to be sort of charging around with too much of it, there's a threshold, you can't just accumulate massive amounts of fatigue, you, there's, a, there's a limit that units can have depending on whether they're levies, warriors or half guard. But uh, being able to remove one of those uh, points of fatigue so your enemy can't use it against you and then getting an attack dice, it's a nice little bonus. Um, this one here, Hemdal, I've used also as well. It's a melee ability. Discard this dice to gain three attack dice. Four if the die discarded was a, a, an S rune. I, I don't know what the runes are. Maybe I'll have to have a look. What does the S actually mean? What does the B mean? What does that, that Y, that, that F room mean? What are, what are they called? I'm just going to call them the S room, the B room, and the, the F room. But if I discarded that, that S, I'd be getting four dice. This reduces your unit's armor by one. So you're trading off here for more attacks and less armor. This sort of ability I'd see combined with a unit that's going down. It's 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 being put into into a situation where it's trying to disrupt the enemy. It's not likely that that unit's going to survive. So, um, with it, with its normal armor rating, uh, so why wouldn't I? If it's going to be wiped out anyway, I'll reduce its armor by one. It's going to make them easier to hit, but I'm expecting them to die anyway. So I don't mind reducing their armor, and it's going to give me three potentially four extra attack dice. There's a bit of a trade-off there. Not something like Frig where you'd try to be using it all the time, but it requires that, that sort of, again, special circumstance on the battlefield happening where you have a unit that is, uh, is going to be wiped out, uh, but and you want to inflict some carnage. It's a good ability. This one, Valhalla, I've never used. 
it, I'm conflicted about it. It's a great ability, but at the same time, it's... I'll read it. It's uh, a melee act, uh, special ability. Discard this die and eliminate up to three of your warriors or half guard engaged in this melee. So I'm killing three of my own men. In a unit of half guard, or one point of half guard buying me four men, and perhaps that's how I'm running them. I'm not merging them together. Um, I'm killing three of them. So I'm only going to be left with one guy at the end of the melee if he doesn't get killed. Anyway, I'll continue. Uh, uh, discard, uh, eliminate up to three. Gain three attack die per figure removed. Four attack dice if the die discarded was an S rune. So I can discard one. I can discard up to three. I'm conflicted about that ability because I, I guess I haven't had a circumstance on the battlefield where I thought that it was going to give me the edge. More games, I suppose, would uh, give me some of that experience. It requires a B or an S rune. Um, it sounds really powerful to me, but I just don't like the idea of sacrificing my own men. Certainly not warriors or half guard. Perhaps it might be another one of those scenarios where uh, I might want to get Hemdal and, and Valhalla off together. They both, to me, seem like suicidal uh, um, sort of abilities. Something that you'd use when you know some the, the unit's going to die. So if I had three or four men or warriors left in the unit, they're, they're facing off against something that's potentially going to kill them or reduce them down to one or two men. Not necessarily massively effective, uh, those small units, aside from being able to retain a, a Saga dice for uh, rolling on your battle board. At that point, you might say, well, look, I need to take care of this threat, uh, and this is how I can do it. Hemdal giving me the extra attack dice and reducing my armor, and then sacrificing those guys to get the extra attack dice, and potentially rolling huge numbers of dice from a small number of men against an enemy, and uh, perhaps wiping out a much larger number of men than, uh, than what you started the battle with. That's how I'd see those abilities uh, working together and uh, perhaps uh, the type of abilities that they are. Asgard, this is a shooting reaction. Never used it. Don't have much shooting in the forces that I have at the moment. That's something that I want to bring in. Someone did send me a message recently uh, talking about how shooting affects the game. I don't know, to be honest. I guess we'll find out as I start to encounter some of that and uh, play some games with uh, forces that include um, uh, bows and javelins and slings. Asgard, it's a shooting reaction. Discard this die to gain one armor against enemy shooting. Now, again, not having played too much against uh, shooting forces, it sounds okay. You only have the option of the F one here, so that's the most common on the die, the one, two, three. Um, it's 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 not too bad. If off the top of my head, armor is increased for shooting anyway. So, adding an extra point of armor makes it even harder to be hit. It might be useful. Again, it depends on, on sort of what you're facing. Um, but the Vikings, certainly a melee force, certainly an aggressive force. They need to be played aggressively. Uh, some positioning of your forces is obviously important in any game of Saga, but the Vikings, uh, from what I can see in the games that I've played and uh, the understanding of the battle board here, that's how they play. I mean, Thor here, another example of, of a melee special activation or special ability for a melee. Discard this die. At the end of the melee, before any fatigue is added or any unit disengages, immediately resolve another melee with the surviving figures. And, and that's on the B room, so the 4-5 equivalent on a dice. Um, that, that's, that's huge. I mean, they're, they're all about attack and slaughter. That's what, that's what I see here when I read the battle board. And when I think about Vikings, that's what I think about. Attack, ra raping, pillaging, and slaughter. Um, I think that the, the battle board here, from what I understand of the Vikings, now it's not gonna, this is not going to be the case for the other armies that I, that, I, that I look at. I don't know a lot about the Irish, which we'll look at shortly. Um, so I can't draw that same sort of comparison between how I see the battle board playing and how I see the force on the table playing and how they actually were uh, sort of in history. I, I'm not going to be able to do that, but at least for the Vikings here, when I read the battle board, this is what it's telling me. Get in there, get stuck in, kill heaps of people, and that's uh, that's what the Vikings are. At least that's my impression, and, and that's what I think about when I think about Vikings. Anyway, fun force. Don't need a lot of figures for this one. I probably wouldn't be looking at massive amounts of uh, levies in a Viking force, depending on the scenario. You may include a unit of levies, but uh, I'd, be, I'd be running a half guard of warriors with this one. 
of the, the unit of berserkers, they're good, but in the games that I've played, uh, one point for four men, you're pretty much charging in. They have such low armor, uh, the uh, enemies hitting you on threes, uh, three, three, three pluses, they don't survive very long, and I don't think that's the intention with them. They're, uh, they're uh, a sort of a delivery mechanism for carnage, and that carnage is expected to last one round, maybe potentially two. I think you need to throw them in at the right time, so for some scenarios uh, and some games, that'd be uh, uh, great to have in your force. But I'd be looking at uh, half guard and warriors, perhaps one unit of levies just to tie things up. Uh, big blocks of levies, great for holding units up and getting in there. And if we look at those levies and we combine them with some of these abilities here on the battle board to, uh, to get additional dice to attack, or, or um, certainly here for Valhalla, this is, that'd be great for, uh, for levies, uh, discarding uh, a couple of levies and gaining three attack dice per figure removed. As I've mentioned in previous videos, levies, uh, if, I'm rem if I'm right, I should probably check this before I uh, keep on mentioning it, that uh, three levies gain you one attack dice. So if I'm getting one of getting rid of one levy and getting three attack dice, that sounds like a pretty good trade-off to me. So maybe uh, if you had a, a Viking raiding force consisting of a unit of levies, um, maybe even two, if you're depending on sort of uh, what, what you're doing, that ability here, Valhalla, just sacrificing levies all over the place, rolling massive amounts of dice, throw a unit of levies uh, against a unit of warriors, you'll you'll annihilate them. Normally that wouldn't happen. There'd be a little bit of attrition happening, but. Uh, here you're starting off with 12 men, charging in or having a fight with 8 men. Uh, and this, uh, this ability here, Valhalla, just, uh, you can see some mass carnage happening there. Uh, no, I must correct myself. Let's not get carried away. Uh, do I eliminate up to 3 warriors or half guard. So there we go, Valhalla doesn't really work with the levies. So that's how I'd be looking at running the Vikings. Um, predominantly Hearthguard and uh, Warriors, maybe a unit of Berserkers. Um, that's, 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 how I, that's how I'd run them. Special abilities for the Vikings, you know, I'm not actually too sure. Maybe I should have had a look before I decided to talk about Vikings. I've played the, uh, only with them twice, so uh, I don't think that there's too many special abilities. Aside from the Berserker being able to upgrade a unit of Hearthguard, I think everything else is fairly standard. Um, but I should check for the next ones. Let's roll with the Vikings here. That's my impression of them. Some of their abilities are really, really good, uh, but it relies on having a, a sort of a targeted, sort of melee orientated, uh, get in there and cause carnage quickly, sort of force. Vikings for Saga. Good fun to play. Good fun to play against. Um, nice force. Thanks for tuning in. We'll come back next time with, uh, next time with uh, another video for a different faction for Saga. Hope it's been uh, fun for you. I'd love to get some feedback. If you play the Vikings, tell me how you play them, uh, whether you enjoy the four-point games or the six-point games, and how you compose a Viking army, uh, and what you think of some of their abilities on the battle board. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.